Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel, The Big Black American Secret. My name is Daniel Jackson. And today I want to talk to you about the, the Bill Cosby case. Uh, Bill Cosby is, um, well, I'll let you hear for yourself what the news people say. A couple of days ago, he was, um, you know, they had court and he's supposed to pay out a half a million dollars to this uh, white lady who says that she was sexually assaulted by him uh, back in the 70s. It's pretty ridiculous. But basically what this is, it's a continued racist attack against Bill Cosby to, to, to continually tear down his character. Um, the system of racism, white supremacy, this is how it operates. But before I get into the, the Bill Cosby situation, um, I want to read the goal of the channel. Um, the goal of this channel is to build an unstoppable army of knowledgeable black melanated people in the world, around the world, in America and around the world who understand that Melanated people have an, one enemy worldwide, and that enemy is the system of racism, white supremacy. Our mission through education is to replace this evil system with a system of freedom, justice, and equality as laid out by Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. We will need your help in building this knowledgeable army. You can help by donating to the cause, by donating to the cause through Cash App or PayPal, and by sharing the knowledge you watch here in any videos that are shared. In doing so together, we help fertilize the mentally enslaved, colonized minds of black melanated people worldwide, creating the perfect mental conditions for our children, for our children to grow up in a better, more balanced world. Sorry, I stumbled through that, but you know, it, it's, it's real important to have uh, uh, this goal because um, our children are at stake. I don't wanna leave this mess for our next generation. I wanna solve this problem in my lifetime. And I need as many people on the same page as me as possible. So I am inducting you into this army of knowledgeable black melanated people. Un until we, until a large majority of black people understand the system of racism, white supremacy, what it is and how it operates, we're going to continue to suffer. Dr. Francis Cress Wilson's video will be in the description. I want you to take a minute, like this channel, subscribe, hit the bell, and hit all so that you're notified when I go live or make another video. Um, uh, I remember when Bill Cosby, uh, oh, I'm sorry. The name of this YouTube channel is The Big Black American Secret. The secret is, um, if you're a black American, it's a good chance you are not the descendants of West African slaves. That's what this channel uh, is dedicated to, teaching you who you really are. You are the only true American. You are an aboriginal American. And I'll go, I may go through that a little bit later on in this video. But I, I, the main topic is I want to talk about why it is important going forward. Because I made the mistake last time when Bill Cosby was catching his heat a few years ago, I fell for the okie doke. When they kept putting on the news that he had raped like 60 women, man, I was like, that dude need to go under the jail. Man, he, he did what? You know what I'm saying? See, this is what the system does. They need for the rapist and sexual deviant people, they, they need a black face for that. Because the truth is, as far as the evidence shows, white people are the sexual deviants. You got the Harvey Weinsteins, you got uh, actors and actresses that have been you know, caught in all these crazy things, but they can't allow us to focus on them. They have to deflect it onto us. That's why you have R. Kelly in jail on bogus charges. Uh, again, uh, they, 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 they continually trying to get Bill Cosby. So we have to continue. Now that we know the game, now that we know the finesse, we can no longer allow them to parade out these cases without being challenged. The cases being challenged as racist. You see what I'm saying? We have to put them words to this. It's all, it's all racist. You you understand what I'm saying? Uh, the, the, it's amazing. These people, they did the same thing with O.J. Simpson. When he was found not guilty of murder, they continued at him with, with, with other things until they got something to stick. And we can't allow these people to continue operating like this. All of these attacks are racist. But until we label them as racist attacks, We'll continue to keep falling for the okie doke. Okay, so I'm going to turn this uh, camera around and let you, you know, hear about the Bill Cosby thing. And then I'll turn the camera back around and we'll chop it up a little bit. I'm going to probably have to hold it because 
I had something I, I was using a little while ago, but it kind of wasn't working for me. Okay, so let me get this back situated. I do apologize. Power on. Okay, so. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby sexually assaulted a 16-year-old girl at the Playboy Mansion in 1975. That's the verdict that was just announced from jurors in a civil trial in California. They found Cosby intentionally caused harmful sexual contact with Judy Huff. Jurors determined Cosby knew she was a minor at the time, but still pursued her. The jury awarded Huff half a million dollars. Cosby attorney and publicist continued to deny the accusation. The verdict comes nearly a year after authorities released Bill Cosby from prison after the Pennsylvania Supreme Court threw out a separate criminal conviction for sexual assault. Shepard Smith here. Now you see they 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 say uh, he sexually assaulted a 16 year old, but they don't say what the assault was. Just that it was a sexual in nature, you know. And we don't we don't ask questions like what what was a 16 year old girl doing in the Playboy Mansion? You you understand what I'm saying? You know, flimsy stuff like oh they was there to play video games, but in the uh, deposition, from what I understand, they asked the 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 lady the the, the grown old woman now she's in uh, I think her 60s, but. They asked her what video game was she playing. And she said Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong wasn't even invented at the time. You see what I'm saying? They be lying. Just to see, the system of racism, white supremacy is a team sport. All of these systems get on, on point. The news organs, the, the criminal justice system or the criminal injustice system, the police departments, they all get on code to try to keep their foot on our necks or keep their knee in our necks. And we have to be on code. Our code is B1, black first. If we're black first, we can't lose. You understand what I'm saying? We cannot lose. And again, I fell for the okie doke when they, they first trotted out these charges against Bill Cosby. And um, you know, I was like everybody else, you listen to the news and we believe what the news say because it's supposed to be credible, a credible source, but it's not. The, the national news organs are propaganda arms for the system of racism, white supremacy. You understand what I'm saying? The national police force is are is the um, the national enforcement arm for the system of racism, white supremacy. They they all get on code. And what's the code? The code is white above all people, especially black people who are on the bottom. You understand what I'm saying? That's the code. And again, the news organs go to go to go to work to make sure that the white people have a, a pristine image they, they can't have the stigma that they're rapists and murderers you understand what i'm saying um that's why they they're quick to put us in that slot and we can't allow them to continue to do that without calling it what it is so people from now on when you hear them broadcasting stuff about bill cosby or any black man just automatically know it's bullshit it's complete and utter bullshit and we can no longer uh, uh, follow their narratives because our narrative is B1, black first. And, and, and it's just amazing. I don't know why Bill Cosby, with all of his uh, money, he, he need to go on an anti-campaign against what's going on with him. But even him in his um, age and stuff like this, I don't even think he understand that it's the system of racism, white supremacy that's attacking him. He may still think there's a small group of individual people who don't like him. Yeah, no, it's bigger than that. So what he need to do is counter narrative. You know, we need to not be afraid to say this is a racist attack against me and stand on that because that's exactly what it is. Um, but again, a lot of people don't simply don't understand the system of racism, white supremacy. Again, Dr. Francis Cress Wilson's video will be in the description. Everybody that's black on this planet, if you melanated, you need to see that video. It'll clear up so many questions you have in your mind. You understand what I'm saying? Um, okay. And I, again, it's up to us to to dodge the bullshit. When they put that bullshit out, we'd be like, nah, that's, that's crazy crap. And I, I don't know how you all feel about the R. Kelly thing. That's the same situation. R. Kelly has not raped one woman. 
Matter of fact, they, they're not even holding him on rape charges. They're holding him on, um, <laughs> you ain't gonna believe this. They have R. Kelly hemmed up on the same charges they have, they, they, they hemmed up uh, that boxer back in the early 1900s, Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson was dating this, this white girl. He, and he was traveling across state. He crossed, they made up a whole damn law to trap him up and it was uh, transporting minors across uh, state lines or white women across state lines. That's what they have R. Kelly hemmed up on. But the news organs won't say that. They'll just say that, you know, make you think he's a rapist. Do you see how racist that is? How, how messed up that is? We can no longer afford to blindly follow the national narrative, uh, the news organs national narrative. It's dangerous for us. We have to call out racism 100% every time, all the time, because that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. We're a special group of people and we have to be protected from this system. And the only way we can protect ourselves is by saying what it is. We can't uh, uh, just keep closed mouths and hope people to understand because they don't and they won't. <laughs> they could give a damn less. It ain't their job to be concerned about us. It's our jobs to be concerned about us and to protect each other and ourselves. And the only way you can do that is to call a spade a spade. When we being attacked racially, we need to say this is a racial attack. Grandmaster J, same thing. The system of racism, white supremacy, is trying to lock him up and or kill him. And we cannot remain silent on this fact. This, they did the same thing to every black man that has stood up for his people. Bobby Seale, Martin Luther King. Malcolm X, Megar Evers. All of these people were murdered and or imprisoned falsely because of the system of racism, white supremacy. And for us to remain silent on these issues. So you say, well, what, 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 what can we do, Daniel? What is it that we could do to help this thing? Well, it's simple. You do what you see me doing. You know, on your social media posts, while you're having fun with your people, sharing some funny things and doing this, that, and other, just interject videos like this, explaining to people that we are constantly under attack, under attack by the system of racism, white supremacy, and what we could do to solve this problem. The solution to our problem is in the description. Watch the video by Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. That's the second thing you could do. You can just, you know, post out that video that's in this link every now and again. You, you know, you ain't got to be you know, crazy on it like me, but every once in a while, if you learn something from that video, you owe it to your children to share out that type of information because it deprograms our minds. Because of the system of racism, white supremacy, our brains are like a scrambled up Rubik's Cube. And in order to unscramble that, that Rubik's Cube, you need to first understand the system. Dr. Francis Cress Wilson does a masterful job at explaining the system of race, racism, white supremacy, you know, how it works, and operates and the, the bottom line uh, cause of what what started the system it's it's amazing uh but uh again t take a minute join this uh, channel go back and watch a lot of my videos i talk about a few different subjects mainly current events but also too again the name of this channel is the big black american secret and i'm gonna touch on that a little bit right now um the reason black people in america believe they're descendants of West African slaves is too because of the system of racism, white supremacy. I mean, so much has been taken from us, our identity, land, labor, and resources. Okay. So I'm going to take a quick minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to just drop this to you real fast. And then I'm going to, um, you know, be on my way and I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of your day. But um, I'm going to I'm going to pull up a definition of Amer of American in the year 1828. Well, actually, I got it on one of my, my zip drives because they be hiding this definition online, especially on. I think my IP address has been flagged, so it'll try to direct me to, to, to some bullshit. You may be able to pull it up on, on, on your system a little easier than me. And it's the the year 1828 definition of American. You can you can rewind this and write that down. It's a video. It ain't going well. It'll be here until they take it down or, or not take it down. But 1828 definition of American. You go to Google and you type that in. And uh, 
you're gonna you, you're gonna learn something real important. And I saved it on this this drive because again, the system of racism, white supremacy, has to manipulate and hide information to keep us continually blind. You know, and it's up to us to uh, not allow them to to do what they continue doing. And I apologize, my computer's doing some weird, crazy stuff right now. Maybe I can just close a couple of these tabs. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Sorry about the pause. My computer really is going slow today. I don't know what's going on. Okay, here we go. All right, so let me turn this around here. Okay, this is a page out of the dictionary from the year 1828. It's the Noah's Webster's Dictionary, the year 1828. And it says here, you know, you can't really see it's blocked out. But if you look up top, this lady here, Sister Sintakayashi, she, she copyright wrote this. But this this right here is asking you a um it's, it's, it's a visual image and it's mentally asking you a question. It's asking you to compare something. It's asking you to compare this one cent copper penny, Abraham Lincoln, one cent copper penny to these two people. This is D from that show back in the uh, 80s or late 70s. Uh, that uh, was happening, yeah, I believe. And this is um, the child of an Eskimo, a Mongolian breed of Asian who they have forced into our history books um, old TV shows and cartoons saying that these people are the nations, the people who were here first. But it's, it's a fallacy. It's not true. I'm going to show you why in a second. So here at the bottom is the definition. So I'm going to read this. It says, and again, this is the 1828 Noah's Webster's Dictionary. It says, American, a native of America, originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the Europeans, but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. That definition is powerful because it tells you two very important things. It tells you, one, who you are. This is a one cent copper penny. And it's damn near identical to the back of my hand. It's probably identical to the back of your hand, too. Um, it, but it tells you who you, who, the people who they saw when they came and they gave a description. Those people were a, a, a copper color. And copper, by description, is a brownish it's a, it's a reddish brown color. Very important because they call the Indians the red man. You see what I'm saying? But we've been fooled into thinking these people with the slanty eyes. Woo, 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 those were the red, red man they was talking about. And it was not. Um, we are aboriginal to America, just like this definition says. And the second part of that says, but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. So... The Europeans have been stealing our very American identity by telling us we're the descendants of West African slaves. And they use the smokescreen of the woo Indian, supposed to be native to this continent. You see the, the shell game? Now, about the Indians. And again, they use every avenue of propaganda to force our minds into believing bullshit. This is a 2020 census. On this 2020 census, if you find the section says American Indian, American Indian, at the bottom it says Eskimo community. These people are Eskimos. That's all they ever, ever was. These people came across the Bering Straits from Asia, according to paleontologists, leaving paleontologists about 20, I mean, about 12,000 years ago. They're not aboriginal to this soil. See, we come from the dirt of this continent. There was no mass migration out of Africa. Every landmass had its own separate individual group of melanated people. 
we're all aboriginal. The Africans in Africa are aboriginal Africans. And did you know, in Europe, there were aboriginal Europeans. People, this is some deep stuff. And what I just showed you was documented proof of, of you. But because you have been colonized in your minds and forced to believe uh, falsehoods, the out of Africa theory was given to us by um, white Europeans. It was not it was not given to us by black folks. And a lot of people are confused because, you know, Ivan Van Sertema wrote a book that says they came before Columbus, you know. But no, all he was showing was what he understood at the time. Education doesn't stop. You know what I'm saying? Once new information is brought to the forefront, it has to be explored. It's hard to hear it because of cognitive dissonance. You know what I'm saying? You believe what you was taught. Um, and it's hard to let that go, but you have to let it go because it's not true. Again, join this channel, hit the bell and hit all so that you can be notified or go, you know, um, or when I go live and you could be notified. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's real important. We all get this information um, so we can update. <laughs> I learn it. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, I didn't know any of this growing up. I didn't know any of this growing up. I. I lived most of my life uh, coming up with my grandma and granddaddy. But when I started to, 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 when this information was starting to get, come across to me, <laughs> somebody said, you should talk to your oldest living relatives. You know, about a year or so ago, that's exactly what I did. I called all of my um, aunties and uncles that's still alive. My mama's dead. My grandma and grandparents, they're they, they, they are dead as well. The two younger uh, aunties and uncles, didn't know anything personally about Indian heritage. The two oldest ones knew just about everything. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, my grandmama was Sioux Indian. My grandfather, Blackfoot Indian. And they just looked like regular old black folks. Now, my grandmama, she do look like she might be mixed with some of that Mongolian breed, but I don't know. You know, I'm just telling you the facts. But she, I, and so I was confused. Um, you know, my grandmama, she never said nothing to me about it. And the strangest thing is, after about a day or two, after talking to my uncle uh, and aunties, I, I called my auntie back because she she had a little bit more information than my my uncle. My uncle told me he says, "Yeah, uh, nephew, we have." Um, he says, "Your your grandmother's Sioux Indian, your grandfather's Blackfoot Indian." He he said, "You also have uh, Irish and German ancestry in the, in the, in, the, in your line." He said, "We like mixed up like mutts," you know. And he started laughing, so th that was very eye opening to me because when we think of Europeans. We think of white-skinned people. You understand what I'm saying? But the truth is, um, the original Europeans, like the original uh, Aboriginal Americans, are Aboriginal. They look like you and I. There's another video where I talk about this. And uh, the, the one specifically is where if you have an Irish or Scott Irish last name, there's a ship log with, with your last name on it. I, 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 I promise you, it's, it's incredible. Uh, but long story short, I, I asked my auntie, I said, well, why is it? that um, you know all this information, but the two, your two younger brothers and sisters don't. And she says, well, let me tell you, uh, my older, my oldest brother, Leroy was his name, was an excellent swimmer. He used to like to swim so much he would bust the ice in the wintertime just to swim, you know. He let slip that he was Indian. They hung him, killed him, and threw him in a river. His sister right up under him, same thing. She let slip that she was Indian. Two grown white men raped her and left her for dead in the woods. Now, she lived. There's a picture of her holding me. I was about six months as a baby, you know, but she never had no children of her own from, from what I understand. She probably was damaged on the inside. Th this information was a death sentence to our family and to your family. Uh, you get a chance to look up something here. It's called the uh, 1920 Racial Integrity Act in Virginia. Our people were jailed, murdered, and harmed for claiming their aboriginal indigenous heritage. If you looked black or African, they classify you as, as, as a uh, Negro, not Indian. You couldn't claim Indian heritage. You understand what I'm saying? And that's because of the system of racism, white supremacy. That act was put in place to protect whiteness. Google it when you get a chance. 1920 Racial Integrity Act. So people, the mission of this channel is very important. Very important because it deals with your true identity. 
and not the identity you've been brainwashed to believe. Your children, the dirt you stand on, the ground you stand on is the inheritance of your children and your children's children. You understand what I'm saying? It's real important you get this understanding into you. Now, again, because of cognitive dissonance, and, uh, the, you know, I've told you, you ain't who you was taught to believe you were. It's going to hurt you a little bit. It's going to prick you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what is this man saying? He got to be the foolish fool on the world. <laughs> I mean, the foolish fool in the world. You know what I'm saying? No. These are just simple facts. The best thing you could do is talk to your oldest living relatives. But you come at them the right way. You don't be harsh at them. Because, again, the our people have been harmed. Harmed. Harshly harmed behind this. You know? Uh, it's another video I talk I talk about how I, I built I started the conversation with my, 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 my relatives that are still living. Okay. Um and and again I didn't I didn't want this to be a long video, but I do not want us to continue to fall for the lies that the national news organs, aka the propaganda arms of the system of racism, white supremacy, tell us about our own people. Bill Cosby is not a rapist. He is not a rapist. He is a victim of the system of racism, white supremacy. And we we must support him in his innocentness. Because why? Because you will be the next victim. R. Kelly, we must protect him. Because why? You will be the next enemy. If we, no long, if we keep silent and allow these people to continue to, to do this to us, you will be the next victim. Grandmaster Jay, we must protect him because you will be the next victim. You understand what I'm saying? We have to speak against the system of racism, white supremacy, because it's taking your identity from you and it's trying to steal your, your land, your labor and your resources. And all of these things will be gotten back. But it's up to each one of us to do what we have to do to fight through the, the cognitive dissonance and just, just forge forward. Learn something new. Understand what I'm saying? You know, and on that note, I'm going to end this uh, video um, so uh, be safe and be one. Peace out.